As far as banning critical race theory being taught in schools, I, I've heard so many people say that critical race theory is not being taught in our New Jersey public schools. If that is the case, then why do they care if this bill is passed? I'm constantly hearing that this notion of implicit bias, white privilege, and that our nation and all of the laws therein have some inherently unjust component to it. I, I just don't see that. And I, and I think that this is a concept that really is being peddled by those on the radical left th as a concept that divides us rather than unites us. I mean, I think that we have, we have such a great diversity, especially in the state of New Jersey. Lord knows we have, you know, the most, probably the most diverse state in the United States of America. We have to embrace that diversity move forward together, whether someone has an R next to their name, a D next to their name, or are unaffiliated. I mean, I think we have to stop looking for things that divide us. And I have a saying, David, that, you know, when one is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. You know, we have to stop consistently looking for the problems. And why don't we focus on real solutions so that we can move forward as a state, move forward as a nation, and move forward as a people all united. I think that there are two separate issues. We do, in fact, need to teach history, and we need to teach history, including, as I call it, the warts of the United States of America. However, we can't continue to focus on the fact that because of the color of one's skin or their gender, that they suffer from implicit bias and therefore that they are, in fact, bad people. That is a main component, a main component of critical race theory. For the 10 year olds that are attending their fourth or fifth grade class, they shouldn't feel like they are lesser than or because, they, because they're white or that they contributed to that. They're a 10 year old kid who's trying to learn. You know, ultimately the goal of this bill between Senator Panaccio and myself is to, to keep our system of public education focused on the core subjects that students will need throughout their lives and to empower students with an understanding that they are capable of actually achieving success if they study, they work hard, they can go out and earn it regardless of their race or gender. This isn't something that's denying all of these ills that have existed in America. What we're saying is that this is still the greatest nation the world has ever known. New Jersey is the most, the most diverse state. And if you really put your head down, work hard, study, or if it's a sport, you play hard and you do your best, guess what? You're going to achieve success. And you should not be limited and think that you're, anyone is lesser than because of their gender or the color of their skin. This bill is, is not seeking to revise history. I'm actually want actual history to be taught. But here, here is the issue. I mean, if, if, you, if, you, if you say that inherent bias, implicit bias, and racism and there's still veins in every single aspect of the system, what these folks that teach CRT is that the entire system needs to be thrown out. That's exactly what they're trying to get down to, David. Let's be honest with ourselves. They're not saying that the system is still a good system that everybody can achieve. I believe that this system that we currently have in the United States of America, especially in the state of New Jersey, with all of the programs that we have, one can lift themselves up and out of whatever situation they are in, they are in to a better situation.